Let's wrap this sports marathon up with a pretty quick video because it's about EA's other behemoth sports franchise, the Madden NFL series, dealing with the other big football sport, American football. Beginning in 1988 with John Madden Football on PC, it eventually would get a console release first on the Genesis in 1990, and then a follow-up with John Madden Football 92 in 1991, expanding to the Super Nintendo, and I think you know the deal by now. Update the roster and maybe the gameplay every year and rack in the huge sales. While not in the top 10 best-selling video game franchises, unlike its brother FIFA, which can appeal to a lot more markets, whereas Madden only appeals to one, Madden's legacy is still really freaking big, racking up 130 million units sold since 1988 as the 15th best-selling video game franchise of all time. And of course the games themselves are exactly what you expect. A straightforward simulation of professional American football, or as many people put it, hand egg. Because obviously kicking is like 15% of what you do in American football, but I'm getting off topic. All these games were developed by EA Tiburon, which thankfully doesn't have too complex of a history for this video. Founded in Florida in 1994 as Tiburon Entertainment by former employees of Visual Concepts, aka the team that were previously doing the Madden NFL games for Super Nintendo, and in no time flat, got noticed by EA to do more of what worked and not long after being founded, got bought by EA and 25 years later is still in charge of working on this monster of a series. Sadly, I have some bad news regarding this video as a review, because unfortunately, whether or not it's my computer or it's just not properly emulatable or whatever, whenever I play these games through Dolphin, it just runs like Rice Krispies through a grinder. So I can't tell you specifically which is the best game other than looking at Metacritic scores, which tell me that the games were best between 2003 and 2005, all landing scores in the 90s. But after that, the scores began to drop considerably, but not enough to downright call them bad. And I think that's honestly my opinion too. It's no big deal which one you pick because they never really fluctuate in quality, and if you like football, you're gonna have a good time. I guess it is worth mentioning that trying to play through these games, I did notice that the difference between FIFA and Madden was pretty big in the field of content for the fans specifically. The FIFA team has to cover the base of a worldwide array of sports teams, whereas Tiburon knows that they only have to focus on a select few teams, being this is a game dedicated to a single country's major players. So you can have the opening of each game have a football player say the iconic tagline. EA Sports, it's in the game! EA Sports, it's in the game! Defense wins championships. It's in the game. Alright, that was completely wrong. You can create a player, a team, and later into the series, actual fans, which is pretty wild to see. And of course, the cream of the crop is being able to choose classic teams roster for that of the 90s or the 80s or even the 70s, the 60s, and even the 50s, even reverting to what the team was called during that era and logo to boot. Judging by Metacritic, the sixth generation of Madden would be the golden years, with all the games usually getting fantastic scores, and from the glimpses I've seen, I see why. EA must have seen this too, as they kept Madden on these consoles as long as they could with the sixth generation. The GameCube started off with 2002 and finally ended with 2008. In fact, NFL Madden 08 would be the last game released for the GameCube, including all regions. And since the North American GameCube launched with NFL Madden 2002, you could say the console began and ended with Madden. The 30, the 20, the 10. An incredible run to get him into the end zone. Wow, that's one of those plays that you call and everything seems to happen exactly as it's scripted in the playbook. Unravel the world of John Madden, 2002. Y'all players need to switch up your offensive patterns. Before they break from the huddle, I read their thoughts. Farrell March, Hail Mary, EA Sports.